So what is up you guys, Matt here. And today what we're gonna be doing is safely removing a concrete deck without damaging the pool. Uh, hopefully we don't, but I guess you'll find out if we do. So <laughs> let's get right into that. So what is the first step that we gotta do and what do we have to be cautious about? Well, um, underneath the concrete is, the way this pool was built, it's different than uh, a lot of the modern pools, kit pools that you find nowadays. And this is a fox pool and the way they do it, they have what they call their X bracing, which helps structurally hold the pool together. Um, and then before they pour the concrete, they run rebar through it to reinforce the concrete. They pour their concrete and the concrete is, or the X bracing is embedded right in the concrete. So um, there's a lot we have to be careful with this. Uh, the way we're gonna approach it is, I know from the schematics that the X bracing is four feet apart. So what we need to do is find one of the X bracing and then we're gonna start laying out and marking out the X bracing because we wanna be careful of that because we don't wanna damage the structure. Um, so what we're gonna do once it's marked out, we're gonna cut square chunks around each side of the X bracing. So basically what we're gonna try to do is remove the chunk in between the X bracing and carefully remove it and then concrete will still be on the X bracing, which we'll chip at and cut with grinders to carefully remove that so we don't damage anything. So why are we actually removing this? Well, we're removing the concrete to get to our existing plumbing because there is a leak under there. So um, we want to get that fixed and we're doing some other work and gonna replace it all with some new stamped concrete. So if you look at the concrete here between the decking around the pool versus the concrete patio, you'll see the patio settled from the pool and that is a direct result of the X bracing. Um, that's the way this is built because it'll that X bracing helps hold the concrete up and it should never move, um, which is unique to Fox pools versus the other ones. So, um, and they still build their pools that way today. The hard thing is, is it makes it more difficult for us to remove because standard pools have the concrete just sitting on dirt and it's not as uh, uh, sketchy to remove without damaging the pool. So. so what do we have to do to get going? Well, what we need to do is find the X brace, mark everything out to where we need it, and then we'll start cutting and get right into it. So how do you know where your first X brace is on a pool like this? Where do you know to begin? Well, we're gonna go to the other side and dig a little bit away and then just try to find that X bracing and- And then and you then, know it's four feet apart regardless. They're, they're so. four feet apart. So we'll use that as a base, measure everything and whatever's over there should translate over here on the sides because everything would be built uniform. Okay. So, so we'll use that to find everything and we'll start making our cuts and then carefully start jackhammering everything out and hopefully we don't break anything. All right, so yeah, let's get right into that. Okay, so we're finally digging up with a backhoe and what we're doing is we're just digging along the side of this without actually hitting the concrete. We're getting as close as we can to it and then just hitting it with a shovel, but we found one of the beams and it's pretty deep in here, so it might be hard to see, but we'll try to give you a visual. Um, but we're just going along, trying to measure out how far apart they are, and then we're just gonna go from there. And ideally they should be the same uh, width apart. We'll just go along with it, which it should be about four feet apart, theoretically. But we're gonna find another one, measure it. And then from there, we should be able to just go right down the line and find the rest. And then we'll start cutting the concrete and tearing it up without actually hitting those structures so we don't actually damage the pool itself. So we're gonna get to dig in and maybe do a quick little time lapse of us going along and we'll jump right back into it. We finally dug up a few different spots. We dug up three individuals just to be sure. So they're not exactly four foot, which kind of sucks, but we know the rough uh, idea of where they're gonna be. And it's not gonna be that big of a deal because what we plan on doing is we're gonna cut obviously beyond 
where the beams are because we don't want to go too close and then once we take apart all the big pieces of concrete that are just loose we're going to go in and like my dad said earlier we're going to chisel them apart so we're going down and we're just putting a little orange mark along all these uh the x braces down around here and then from there we're going to get the saw out and start cutting along it and hopefully it goes fairly decent uh they're over there and because over there it should be roughly mirrored with this side so that's what we're hoping at least um so we know where these sides are and then they're just going to go right along the other side and copy the image and i'm pretty sure we're going to start on this side with the saw start cutting all the concrete out and just hope that we don't hit any of the x braces um, and I guess we'll come right back once we get to the next part and figure out what we're going to do. So stay tuned. So real quick, I just want to add this into the video. Um, my dad's working and he's in his shoes and they're just soaked and muddy. So I went and got him muck boots. He wanted me to pick up um, his old boots, but they're just willy ones. But these ones, they're insulated and they're steel toed. So they're so much better than um, what he had before. So I know you're gonna see this and I know you're not gonna have a big reaction, but when you see this in the video, hopefully you feel some warmth in your heart. And <laughs> Because you deserve it, whether you believe it or not. You always give and you never get back and never ask. But here you go. Hopefully you enjoy this. It will be amazing for you. And if they're the wrong size, you can always return it and change it out. So uh, let's get back to the video. And yeah, see you guys then. All right, so we are finally here and as you can tell it is night but we got a lot done we went through and cut a lot of the braces and i guess i'll get your opinion on it since you did a lot of the cutting well we made a mess and there's no <laughs> turning back now um it's uh it was a little frustrating at times but it took a little while to get the first section out and then once we got that out things seemed to flow a little bit quicker so we got about 25 to 30 percent done and uh well of the hard stuff i mean right. the like the big spots are going to be a lot easier to get up because that's right. just sitting on the ground right. it's the not the around the pool is going to be the hardest part the patio is going to pull right out that ain't going to be a big deal but then uh we got to clean up a little bit around the edge of the pool mm -hmm. where we left concrete because we're going to have to hand chisel it out maybe uh we'll, we'll see find an easier way to get it out well uh, if we pull the screws out of the coping b underneath the liner and it it may be able to lift right out i don't know i got to look at it a little closer but which would that, be really nice that's hopefully tomorrow night we'll have that taken care of yeah in re oh i'm sorry no go ahead in reality we were hoping that it was going to be easy enough to get done in one day but i mean we didn't shoot a whole lot but we got time lapses so it's not going to be a super long, like we didn't want to just sit there and constantly turn the camera back on and record. So we did the time lapses and now we're at this point. We got to, we're definitely going to go another day 100%. And then hopefully we can get at least either the, the hard part done. Right. I, I figured two days of concrete to demo. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's doable if we, because tomorrow morning I'm just going to get out here and start cutting. And then... Uh, well, then, I'll try to get up here whenever. So when I'll you guys show really back too. up, then you guys can just start chiseling. And the big thing is the cutting. It's the slowest part. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got to cut three cuts across the concrete, and then we got to cut them into three to four foot sections to break them up. So mm, yeah, yeah, well, it's not fun. My arms are feeling it. And <laughs> just wait till tomorrow. Hopefully, you'll, you'll really hopefully feel tomorrow, tomorrow we'll feel a little better. Brandon's be in pain you're gonna be in pain ryan's gonna be in pain right, right. i'm not in pain but i'm just my body's tired well, you just stood around most of the time i, I was so. a filmer so but yeah so at, le we at just, least you kept the seat of the bobcat warm for me i know i, I jumped was in there. trying to be the operator but 
<laughs> wasn't working out too well. <laughs> but figured we'd just do a quick update before we actually close the night just so we can give you guys an update rather than just jump tomorrow. You can kind of get an idea of what we did. So uh, I guess just stay tuned until tomorrow and we'll cut back in. And Probably tomorrow will be like now for them. Yeah, in one second it will be tomorrow. tomorrow so For you. Yeah, we got to... <laughs> clean up and then go to bed so we'll see you guys tomorrow stay tuned actually we'll see you guys in a second stay tuned <laughs> so welcome back guys it is now day three we didn't really record too much on day two um so you kind of watch this a day later than what i was supposed to record but it's going to be loud so i'm just kind of holding the mic up to my mouth to kind of uh help you hear me a little bit better and kind of cancel out the noise but i'll give you guys a quick look at what we're doing um it is not an easy job it really isn't taking up concrete is a pain and i mean it's the difference between if you hire a professional or if you just want to do it yourself just make sure you have all the right tools because it isn't fun it's very time consuming and a pain but once we are almost done the hardest part is getting the concrete right around the edge of the pool because you have to watch out for those x braces and there are a few x braces already damaged so after we're all done with the concrete, I'll go over and kind of show you exactly what I'm talking about. But I'll give you guys an overlook real quick and kind of give you guys an idea of what we're looking at. So right now, we already dug up the whole left side of the pool. And right now, he is, um, he is basically just leveling out the ground. And my brother right there, who is my actual cameraman, but I got to do the camera work and talk. So he is destroying the closer concrete. And we already destroyed part of the path. That's why this is right here. And bear with the camera angles, it's just kind of a pain. So right there is a big concrete slab that was all along here. And it, was, it, it wasn't that hard to get out because luckily we had the backhoe. So we just basically picked it up and dropped it, which I might have time less footage of that from last night that I was doing, but I'm not too sure. Um, and we were supposed to have a dump truck today to pick up that, but we don't. And we were starting to pick up the patio concrete, but you know, you can only do so much. And that's basically where we're at right now. We, we were still working on the concrete. We, and the funny thing is, we assumed it was gonna be a lot easier than what it was, but I feel like that's how it kind of always goes, is you go to jump it into something and you think it's gonna be easier than it actually is. Um, it's definitely time consuming. Um, there's the issue with like the saw that I put in earlier in the video, um, which w he actually only rented out for a day. And then once we realized how long that the actual cutting was gonna be, um, we had to use it for another three days. So, and that's 75 bucks a day, but we're still in the end, if we were to hire professionals that would come in and finish it in like a day or two, it'd be about six grand worth of, or six grand to do or even more i honestly have no clue but i'm gonna cut out here because it's gonna be very loud and probably hard to hear me but i'm gonna jump back in we're gonna start a time lapse and i'll jump back in once we're all done probably at the end of the day so i'll see you guys in a second So now it is day whatever. Um, so I just got here and I realized they actually did a lot more stuff than yesterday. So all this is dug up. And supposedly my dad found where the leak is even better. So I'm gonna come and give you guys kind of a look. So here's the trench, basically because we have to run um, brand new lines and everything down in here. So let's kind of get down in here. And all this water is from the pool, which I mean, you can kind of get an idea of how far down it is because right there is where the water was um, yesterday and then it dropped down. So this is a lot of water. But I'm just kind of putting this here because we were going to film a 
ending bit yesterday, but we never did just because by the time everybody was done with doing the stuff from yesterday, um, everybody was beat. Oh my God, I can't step in this. So right there is the leak that we have, which is, that is basically the um, housing for uh, the light, which I wonder if you can kind of see. So right there, that's the lighting and the silicone that must have been blocking it must have just cracked or this just kind of broke free because there's been a leak for a little while now and we knew about it but that's definitely not good and i'm assuming this was just broke because of uh when they dug it out but it is it is freezing out it's only like 40 degrees out right now and i am cold but i'll give you guys kind of a rundown of everything we've done we, we got all the concrete off and i see that they kind of went around here with that little hand jackhammer and broke all this concrete concrete free and so what i was saying i'm not sure if i add it will add it because it might might have been too loud by the time when i was doing it um but all these bracing had concrete wrapped around it and like it all has a rebar through it so the rebar comes through this one and loops all the way through here and then it I'm pretty sure it looped back around. But there's a lot of issues with these X beams too. Like this broke just by accident from taking the concrete off because um before I knew that there was rebar through here, I broke the concrete free along this and just by the weight of the rock it bent that. And there's another bent one and then a lot of stuff like this. This isn't even touching anything. That's just completely broke the pool has a rust hole in it right here so that's another issue and that's just the liner so we have to figure that out this is getting replaced anyway so that's not a big deal that was just from the jackhammer coming right down through it but then you can see like a lot of these x braces are completely destroyed and when i mean a lot of them i mean there's a lot of them that are just either bent to shit or completely just rusted off. And I'm gonna be kind of uh, stuffy throughout all this. I'm just kind of waiting for my dad to get back because he'll explain a little bit more, which, uh, that's not him. But this was not a fun job. This was definitely a pain in the ass. So, I mean, that's another thing you gotta take into effect. It's like, yeah, you can pay like eight grand to somebody who will get this done probably in like a day to three days but if you want to do it yourself you'll save a lot of money but then you're the one who has to do all of the concrete around here and it is not an easy job by any means or a fun one but i mean we gotten pretty far and we haven't ran into too many issues other than the rust because with like the ground settling underneath it like where the concrete was there was a uh, gap underneath so this kind of gives you an idea so like that's where the concrete was i mean that's broken free obviously but um there was like a six inch gap under underneath from where the dirt is so like any water that came in just basically flooded down underneath this and it it didn't help at all so that's why there's like a lot of rust on this is just because where water was sitting and <clears throat> since this was more structurally support with the rebar the other concrete that are around it that's why there was like that three inch gap just from the ground settling underneath that and then the ground i mean the concrete kind of settled with this just because how um support it was and like all these issues are going to get fixed regardless but yeah so once my day gets back we'll kind of go into further detail and talk some more about it. So I guess I'll see you in the next part.